Hello everyone, welcome to my channel learn to become an animator. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create a flat screen LED billboard from starting to the final one. This kind of billboard is quite simple. We just have to take care of the border and the how far it, the object is coming into the space toward the camera. Uh, that is the most important thing. Uh, like this you can see here how I have taken this bottle out of the box and you can see how much distance is traveling and the lighting and the texturing and it will take a bit time to render because of the subsurface scattering and all the glass materials let's begin with a simple box just create a simple cube it's just uh, simple we have to create increase the size for time because it will be say similar to the real scale a uh, real world scale we need to scale up big just because of if in case if you want to add any effects or uh, smoke effects or any dynamic or any simulation cloth simulation that will work in the real world scale otherwise it will not work so now just go to the front view and just snap it to the grid just modify the box little bit so it will look like a LED screen and that is completely upon, upon you how much what the size of the screen based on that size of the screen you can just modify the box now go to front view and just select the front face and delete it now you can see we got a simply a 3d space here but we have to just extrude this all the faces select all the faces by pressing a and extrude along with the normal face along with the normal so it will extrude perfectly you can extrude inside or the outside whatever the size okay now you see it's not completely perfect so just go to the edit mode select this And you can adjust the border so it will look perfectly similar all the four size or you can just go to the modifier add modifier add bevel So for this the whole box will look good and when we do the lighting this edge will look perfect now you you might have seen this I have kept a black border outside so we will feel like that border and the bottle is coming out of the whole box so we are going to have the full box rendered but we will keep the texture black to the border so it will feel like a part of the screen and the object is coming out of the screen so when you project or the play the full video on the screen it's going to be like this this much okay, let's give some material to it before that we will give one or you can cut one more give a cut here just click outside by using this tool loop cut tool now we have the basic box ready now we have to separate by giving some different different materials to the box so for that what we'll do uh, we'll just go out out of the edit mode 
okay okay let's do one thing just select all in the edit mode itself and create one material that is called box just now just select go to face mode select this faces and create one more material it's called border border let's change the color of the border with black now if you go to material view you can see I think we forgot to assign this material, black material, to the border. And this box has the same blue material or blue or gray, whatever you color you want to be, you wish to give, that would be great. I'm just going to give little bit bluish tone so it will separate from the object okay now go to the black border and uh, we don't want any reflection or any reflection on the border so i would like to give completely zero specular and full roughness so it will completely give the flat effect now it's time to create the camera so we are going to create the camera completely in the front so go to front view create the camera now go to top view and then move the camera in the front of the screen now go to camera view and let's divide this into the to viewport so we can see here the camera view okay and this is the perspective let's move it and fit into the camera this is very important because whatever the setting we do here in the camera camera view the size that is the size is going to render finally so we have to adjust the size of the camera based on the resolution of the screen okay so here i am going to give and let's go to the render tab just change it how much it's happening move the camera upwards switch off the grid if you don't want to see yeah now you can see our camera is set and we are going to render uh, this this view so before we move ahead just save the file this black border you can increase or decrease that if if the the filling of the object coming out is not coming proper way then uh, you can increase the black border to give a more effect of the coming out or appearing out of the screen okay so now now it's time to import the object whichever object you like you can import it car or any bottles any cosmetic things so i am going to import the same thing same uh, wine bottles uh, which we have used for that video okay so you can append that same object so i have this uh, i have saved the separate these bottles just go go to the bottles collections and append them it will come into our scene separately now by selecting this empty we can animate this so before that we'll make sure that all the constraint and everything is proper the empty is in the center of the bottle and if anything is wrong then we can okay i think we have some changes yeah 
and the wine bottle looks fine uh, this jack daniel bottle has some issue i think here we have multiple option you can see the for the visual the object the random the single color so random looks fine for me and here i am just putting the switch on the material view so i let me see yeah there there is some some overlapping things are happening so now it's proper yeah so before we move ahead our rendering the, our main thing is animation right we have to animate this bottles proper way so you can start animating by one uh, one by one bottle so let's switch off this wine bottle okay and i am just going to animate this one so we are going to animate this by using the empty object okay so before that we can push that bo bottle object here we should see the complete view of our camera and how it's looking Then let's keep the camera view here at the side by side and we'll animate into the perspective we can animate in the wireframe mode also that will be more easy to see how much the translation is happening Just press i and location and rotation you can key uh, one more shortcut is if you don't have to do every time paste press the i location rotation and scale uh, we can set here go here in the keying option and choose this location rotation so now what will happen whenever i want to create the key just press i it will create the key automatically okay let's go to the first frame let's press and let's go around frame 40 or 50 the timing we can decide based on the how the movement is coming okay you can just main thing is we should not come out of this black border okay we can rotate it in the all angle go to top view and move it little further and this is the important thing that we should not come out of this black border then the dimension will look fine if you want to give even more dimension we can rotate the bottle here go into the local axis so you can rotate this into the local axis so you can select this if you feel that it's the rotation is happening too much you can control by pressing shift and the minor rotation will happen here so you can control the rotation or the translation by pressing the shift so the unit will reduce okay now let's go to the global go to the top view by pressing the 7 press i let's check how the animation is happening yeah see i don't want the first position i don't want the straight position the same position uh, we are going to use uh, which is happening in the uh, the rotation wise okay the same position will have with the first frame also so i am just uh, pulling out one more panel here 
and uh, let's work in little bit in the graph editor if you don't know the graph editor you should just uh, go through the graph editor and one by one we have to see the so graph editor is little bit complicated so you have to understand okay here just switch on and off whichever axis you want now i just want to switch on the rotation okay control a and zero now you can see i have the only graph for the rotation so i'm going to delete the first keyframe so you can just easily see the our rotation is i mean the position is the as equal as the uh, first frame okay now i am going to add some animation the same animation which i have created in the uh, my video okay hello uh, now you can see we have animated just translation here okay and the same pose i am going to use just copy and paste you can use the same pose here and just go back like as much as inside we we can go inside the 3d space so that will give you even more effect okay now the second thing when we want to rotate this okay we have to rotate into the local axis so i just want the rotation when the bottle is coming out it should rotate a little bit okay press i now if you see this axis is not coming properly i mean it's rotating in the multiple way so for proper rotation you need to do just okay i am just switching off other axis only switching on the rotation rotation graph we can see here i'm just deleting that and here we have to change that allure z x y i think this way we can control the rotation okay so while coming out now you can see the proper rotation will come you can move it little more outside as i said that we have to just come on top of the black border all right now if you feel this is too fast and stopping suddenly this is not too fast but the at the end it stops very suddenly so we can give little more frame to is in is out maybe 10 frame is enough so i'm just creating the keys create one more key here and delete this key so you can feel that slow momentum same way i'm just creating that key so you can see slowly it's coming it should not stop very abrupt at the end right we can increase even this last frames okay and if you want you can just rotate a little bit more by just going into the local axis and select the z axis here okay just press the dot in the num numpad you can press z and the y you can see slowly you can increase that 
now you, when you play it slowly comes and the stops right now next up is like we have to create the the door we have to animate the shuttle also right so you can create the door by just selecting okay let's hide this bottle first of all okay let me go to the shading mode here go to the edit by pressing the tab and select the face from the back side okay shift d press the shift d for the duplicate okay and press p and separate by the selection okay so now you will get the separate if you go to out of the edit mode you can see the separate plane we got the separate plane now this plane we can use for the door animation you can scale it little bit yeah now right now the problem is this origin is not in the center of this geometry so select that geometry of the plane and just go to object mode and set origin to the geometry okay now you can see this origin is in the center of geometry so we can scale it from the center of that geo right so where whichever place you like to just place the door just place it okay and for that we'll create one more material separate material right now we are not in the material mode texture mode that's why we can't see the texture here but if you want to create the separate texture for that so we can just go here create new okay change the color little bit save the file now i am just switching on the bottle so before the bottle comes just our shutter animation should be there so for now i am just animating the shutter up we can adjust the timing by just pulling the keyframe here and there yeah see if you feel that it's too fast or too late you can just hold both the keyframe and move it forward so it will come a little late or before the bottle comes it should go out yeah okay so this way we can do the animation and uh, if you want to put the logo on this board in, in this door that can be placed very easily so let's do one thing before putting the logo just we need little bit you know segments here so i'll just subdivide that yeah go to the edit mode i'm just switching off this 3d space i will keep this one okay now we'll subdivide this so you can see more subdivision and the logo will appear more proper way right now we don't have any thickness or anything that thickness is not required i think because we are just animating up and down this one okay and it's already little bit inside of this our 3d space so it will give when we put the light it will give good effect so now we have the basic animation ready here now we'll put the lighting so i'm not going to animate the other bottle here and that can be done very easily if you want me to show that as well i'll show you how I have, I have done the transition between two uh, bottles for the transition between two bottles I, I am just going to animate this bottle backwards and from here like uh, I have just scaled down this uh, Jack Daniels bottle little bit and from here we are going to just 
visible this another wine bottle okay take the same position here okay and the rotation and the position and from here i'm going to animate this wine bottle okay and yep and we are going to animate the visibility of this bo both the bottles one by one now slowly it will just come out and here also if you want you can give one more momentum here like changing the directions so the animation wise you have to little bit experiment then only you'll get the control on the animation because there are multiple types of graphs and the animation for blender is little bit complicated you can do the animation many ways Now I'm just going to create here one more keys. Just delete these keys, so we'll get smooth transition. Slowly, the bottle will get. So now our basic animation is ready. Okay. Now I'm going to animate the visibility. So basically, we are going to animate the visibility of the geometry here, the full geometry. just you can select you can save the file this at this point now as this bottle goes here at the okay around 50 we are going to invisible this all the geometry okay so on the visibility you can just put your cursor and press i okay so now you can see the keys the next frame can just switch off this and press i again on all the things um i have just put a basic lighting in here uh, you can see so before we go ahead i am just switching off this door so we can see easily the lighting I've just gone through here in the world attribute and uh, put one HDRI and one more area light here. So inside we can brighten up little bit more. And I just put five hundred. See this box, you can create. like anything as much as element you can put more interesting design or it should not be like a simple box okay uh, there are couple of uh, there, there are many billboard you can see that uh, they have done very interesting lighting inside and uh, multiple ways to decorate this box based on the product so that design we have to decide based on the product and what what are the elements required into the billboard right so this is the basic lighting and as the bottle is coming out just we need little more focus on the bottle so i would like to give let's create one more area light here okay let's i'm just putting area light in here not very much big can go to front view and rotate it so it will just focus on the our bottle okay 
let's check how it's looking and uh, I'm just increasing the voltage If you want any rim light here uh, we can just duplicate the same light rotate it the opposite way go to the top view and angle such a way that it should give nice rim light to the bottle now i am just going to give from the down side a little bit and will increase maybe 1000 voltage so we feel this light nice light here yeah maybe we will change little bit color yellow color or something okay so that's it about the lighting and you can check the lighting with uh, another bottle also i mean another wine bottle when it's coming how it's looking the wine bottle as well yeah this is also looking fine now you have to render the whole sequence so for rendering the whole sequence just make it the hundred percent here or if you want to taste out the sequence just keep it 50 percent that's all right and here the frame length so total frame length is maybe yeah we'll keep around 115 now okay so the same 115 frame length will come here and uh, let's keep let's go to this render setting keep the cycle gpu this will be very faster gpu okay and just denoise the light light path passes you can put it all 12 12 okay so that will give little fast and uh, more dynamic required go to color management will make here maybe high contrast this high contrast will look uh, really nice very contrast will go very much contrast okay so high contrast would be good now let's render one frame and we'll check how it's coming yeah it's looking wonderful and this is how you can create flat screen billboard it's a very simple it's not going to be that dynamic as like a corner billboard but uh, this is also interesting for a small and a flat screen billboard i hope you understood very well if you have any question just let me know and have fun thank you if you like my tutorial you can subscribe and share thanks a lot